So, free spirit here. So, I thought I would give you a little update tour of the indoor garden. Just a short little visit here. I got in the back. And I have these dividers set up so that the cats mostly leave everything alone. They have demolished these anyway, so there's a lot of holes. <laughs> but if I keep it covered, they don't seem to care about it in here. So here it is. This is uh, probably the brightest window in the house. There's one facing the other way, so it gets the afternoon sun, but there's not, there's not very much window space. Not a big window like this. So, this gets early morning sun and then bright light most of the day until about three or four, I think. Yeah, so everything's doing pretty well. I can't seem to do anything wrong with basil. It's in every stage in my house. Here it's going to flower and going to seed. And it's everywhere I put it, it grows. I pinch it back to get it more manageable. And then I stick it in water and it roots overnight. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all those roots. Whoops. Look at that. And it sucks up about a full glass of water every day. So I keep using it with everything. I keep pinching a little off here and there. But I also have this one. And the first window box there is also basil. And I have some planted outside in two places. <laughs> I never used to be able to grow it. This is a vine, like a morning glory, that keeps getting bleached out by the sun and dried, but it keeps growing. The tips are green and it had a couple flowers, so just let it go. Going with the flow. This is butterfly pea flower vine. They're hard to get started. Hopefully this one makes it and I can keep it indoors over the winter and put it outside, because once it gets established, it's very good for this climate. It stays good in dry, um, quick draining soil. And then I have another one that was even bigger, and the cats chewed it off. Oh, I was so mad. But now it doubled, so it's coming back. And I just have to be sure to check under the table when I close up every time. So now I have my window boxes. All here. I still have one more to go. This is lettuce. And this is um, mixed uh, baby greens. And some more basil. I think I'm going to put these all outside so I can reseed this window box. And then over here, I have, this one is parsley. And this one is dill. And I need to start using all of this so that I can thin it out a little bit. And to maybe take some and put it in other pots too. And this one is cilantro controversial art that I love. <laughs> and it always goes bad so fast when you buy it at the grocery store. So now I have my little herb garden back here. And I have oregano out front. And this is some sage, some blue sage that I need to repot. Yep. Basil, basil, basil. These beauties are doing really well. These are artichokes. I love artichoke plants, so beautiful. Let me turn this fan off. 
I like to keep the air moving in here because it does get a little bit warm. Anyway, artichokes. They're gonna go in bigger pots soon. And these are some more, I think, peppers. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, sweet banana pepper. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with these at this time of the year, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll repot them and have them on something I can take in and out of the house when it's sunny. <laughs> and this is strawberries. They're still going. They came from seed. So it's amazing that I've got anything going. Hopefully they mature a little bit. And this is my big gardenia plant, which is doing really well. It's spread out a lot. I need to probably prune it and do a fertilizing, and hopefully in the spring we'll get some flowers. So, I love this little area. Come over here in the morning. It's very cheerful. I just have this, um, it's actually like a bug netting outside that I wasn't using so I doubled it up and hung it over the curtain rod here that's not quite double everywhere but that sort of filters the light enough just have to be careful on the hot days uh, I like to give them a little bit of humidity too because it's so so dry here I have my spritzer bottle. Spritzer? <laughs> Spray bottle. And it has water and a little bit of Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap Peppermint. Just a couple tiny drops. Just to help with, uh, we do get some fungus gnats from time to time. Yeah, I have a, um, a remedy that I put in the water, but then I like to spray the leaves with the peppermint as well. With this lovely crystal, it's helping to energize the area. <laughs> I always love a nice quartz crystal. And then underneath I have space. I actually have the, the um, insulation for the window from when it was too hot in the spring. I would limit the amount of sun. And then some other trays that I need to um, put some dirt in. I have my heating mat under there for next spring. Yeah. Okay, so just finish this part with a little spritz, spritz, spritz. just have to decide what to do with these little sprouties. I know the artichokes, uh, we've got a couple big ones going still in the garden that we will um, probably cut back to almost to the ground when it gets really cold out and we'll cover it over with mulch and some burlap and it will come back in the spring. So I'm hoping these guys will be big enough to put out there too. And otherwise outside on the porch where my other garden is. <laughs> I have uh, three artichokes going and they're pretty big. So 
so I really love artichokes and I love letting some of them go to flower because they really attract the bees so beautifully oh my goodness they love that purple artichoke flower so this is a short video so maybe I will get outside when it cools off a little bit we're back into a heat wave I have some catching up with you to do. I have to do a story time pretty soon. But I'm focusing on the garden while I still have some nice stuff going there. So when it cools off later this evening, just before the solar lights start coming on, maybe I'll step outside on the front porch. I'll give you a little evening tour to add to this indoor tour. Indoor tour, indoor tour, indoor tour. And the big garden out on the other side of the house is almost done for the year. We have two artichoke plants, um, a couple of small watermelon that we'll probably just harvest because I think they're done and a couple of acorn squash and loads of cherry tomatoes still everything else is done try to get some carrots and radishes and spinach going for the winter garden but they're, they're, I've got to work the dirt a little bit better I put some mulch because they dry out too much so there's not too much to show you out there Okay, so I hope you found this relaxing. It's pretty exciting to have a space that's relatively safe <laughs> from the critters. And I need to come out here and make myself a salad with these fresh greens and herbs. I want to restart my arugula in the house because outside it got too hot and it kind of bolted so I can start some in here and then bring it out into one of the fabric bags and see what happens from there <sighs> thanks for being here really good for your mind if you've been indoors too much or you haven't been doing any of your energy work to clear all the excess negative energies just doing a little gardening even indoors repotting a plant or any of that it really does reconnect you so this is my therapy. That's why it's about the only thing I've been showing you lately. <laughs> uh. All right then. See you soon. Well, it's definitely cooling off. thinned out. I start pulling that up. And some beans that mostly some little critter got into and ate most of the leaves, but it's still coming back. And of course this 
nice spot for peace and quiet after it cools off suddenly becomes <laughs> the popular place to drive by to rev your engine to tow and drag <laughs> start your chainsaws and I do apologize for the sounds of life I swear I come out here for the peace of quiet, but it's the ASMR uh, legend. <laughs> the universe knows it's a bit of cosmic humor. Yeah, or the neighbor shows up, which I'm kind of looking over my shoulder. So these are onions and these crazy artichokes. These are the two little ones actually. They're doing very well as container plants. I have a big one at the other end. And they're going to winter over. I'll cut them back and cover them up and keep them nice and warm and cover this whole uh, swimming pool will be covered and to keep everything nice. Uh, some overflow squash that's done for the year and some eggplant. And the very last zucchini which is kind of on its way out but there is one more zucchini coming. flower open here this morning and one here yesterday so maybe there's still time for a few more zucchini but that's it there's no more in the big garden either and over here I still have some uh, cucumbers coming up Oh guy needs to get on there. So a few of them here. And then here some are So I still might get some cucumbers. I have this old vine, a squash. One last squash over here. Behind the crinkly leaves. I think I'm going to harvest this this weekend. Oops. Or maybe right now. Oh, it's still on. So, the only thing left growing basically is this incredible amount of cherry tomatoes. There's so, so, so many cherry. As soon as I pick them, I basically roast them right away because they're super, super sweet right now and they're very ripe. And I don't want to waste them, so I roast them and then I just keep them in olive oil and use them for all kinds of stuff. Just you can smash them up and put them in sauce or just mix it in with vegetables. I still have a few green tomatoes. These were the cocktail sized tomatoes. And I had some bigger ones over here. But they're all done. Yeah. Looking a little sad. <laughs> Meanwhile, my peppers are still going. I have a lot of pepper varieties. Which is kind of new for me because I have not had good success with it. So these are jalapeno. And 
you're used to seeing them green, but I guess when they're actually ripe, they're red. So these are ripe jalapeno, and they're pretty mild to me, like like the green jalapeno. Maybe a little bit hotter, but not much. And this one is poblano or ancho chilies. They're starting to turn red too. I gotta get a few of them picked. There's a whole bunch on the other side. I can eat these branches. Like a little jungle here. I don't know what is setting off those dogs in the neighborhood, but that is obnoxious. And I apologize. And there's a bunch of chilies under there. They're pretty big. Those are the ones I use to stuff and cook chili relleno style. And this one is bell pepper. Oh, now I got motorcycles coming. Where's my peaceful little evening? There's some bell peppers still coming. And these are serrano. And they are red pretty much from the beginning <laughs> and they're kind of hot so not too many leaves but lots of peppers i've already picked about three or four dozen at least and i like to dry them and then grind them up for chili flakes here's the big dragon artichoke plant Interesting looking, kind of leathery green leaves. They look sharp, but they're not. They're soft, but like a fabric. <laughs> I love artichoke plants. I love artichokes. I love artichoke flowers when all the bees come. My neighbor used to grow a lot of artichokes and he never ate vegetables. So I would take what I wanted to eat and the rest would go to flowers. I have a lot of pictures. Maybe I'll find them. This is a tomato plant that's Still growing and growing. I had a few flowers and may have tomatoes still. We've been having 90 degree weather. And these two, I'm going to replant with something else. So, at one point, I had quite a bit going with some greens and some beans, tomatoes, zucchini and peppers artichokes next year can't wait and some lavender that I noticed today had some new growth and I like the beginnings of a bud look at that huh. This is our little mouse out here. Abby was alerting me. He was climbing amongst my zinnias over here. Oh, freshy. There's another lavender. I don't know what's going on up the street, but... And there's the neighbor. <laughs> you guys, I swear to God, you can't make this up. Real life. ASMR. <laughs> it's soothing human interaction. Although it's dogs, but you know. And my solar lights are coming on. 
this flower box is all nasturtium. They're so beautiful. Yeah. All kinds of colors and reds and orange and pink. And I have a lot of pots. And I have zinnia. Zinnias of all colors. So beautiful. Can't believe how long they last. I just cut back the ones when they when they start to lose their color like this. Just come out and snip them off and two more come out. It just keeps budding. This one. So pretty. Twinkles. <laughs> the sun is gone and the lights are coming on. My solar fountains. The hummingbirds like to come and fly under. And just as I was gonna say, these are my herbs. Chimes, rosemary. and mint over there and they all grow crazy and I have to cut them all the time yeah and we're waiting for the last lights to come on that are up at the top here not that dark yet got the little spotlight came up Just shines a little light across the porch when I'm in the house. I can see all the flowers. And well, this way is some four o'clocks and some miracles. And my little shallow pool over there with flat rocks for the bees and the butterflies. So at nighttime, the solar light comes on on the fountain and it squirts water even at night. <laughs> it's cute. And now the big lights are on. So nice out here. You can see most of the big trees on the property on this side. And on this side are the fruit trees. We got some pears almost ready. The figs have just finished. Figs on the other side. This is relaxing in some way. The sounds of life winding down, maybe. Everybody wants to be outside when it cools off. And some people find it relaxing to be very loud and do very loud things. I like to have my lovely space, empty and quiet, except for animals, of course. So, this is what I've been up to. This is my therapy, and seasons are changing so a lot of this will be gone 
Well, I might have a few other things planted. Put some winter crops in. It's not too hard over here because I can cover things and protect them in the winter. And I can move bags around to optimize the sun. Because I do have some very large arbor day here, this massive mountain, and one on the other side, and they block a lot of the sun in the early part of the day, so I might have to get those trimmed back, mm. but I have lots of space to do more, let's see, let's see. I hope you have a good evening. Mm, I hope you get some good rest and peek at my kitchen window. And I will maybe make a cooking video soon. I keep meaning to. <laughs> and so many interruptions. I have more willpower, I think. So, I'll be back soon. Oh, there's Miss Abby. <laughs> Waiting for dinner. Good girl. She enjoyed being with me yesterday when I was cleaning the crystal cabinet. Taking every crystal out and cleaning each one, cleaning all the shelves, putting everything away. She was just hanging out in the energy. And today I spent some time out here, kind of pulling out dead leaves and just checking. I'm going to enjoy these flowers for as long as I can. Because this is the first year I've been successful in having this little corner here that I envisioned. Having my little fountains and my lights and my flowers and herbs. I can't believe it. So patience pays off because I did give up a few times in the past. And this year I was more stubborn. And I just kept planting stuff till it worked. <laughs> so you can share this little spot with me anytime. Right here. Didn't you hear me? Where's that? 